Good morning, everybody. Mrs. Tertodi here, and I am continuing to miss you. I wish we were in school, but I hope you are all being well and staying safe. Today, I'm going to do a calendar activity. This activity is good for all the children I work with. Mrs. Hintavis, particularly, and I realized how important understanding calendar time sequence is for all of our students our substantially separate students understand a calendar when they have it visually in front of them and they can understand things that happen in their day um, the kindergarten kids understand the days of the week they all have songs for days of the week and months of the year i do it with my fourth and fifth graders because some of those students need to understand yesterday today and tomorrow some need to rapidly recall the months some need to rapidly recall the days to help with their memory and their word recalling. So today I'm gonna to show you a few things that we do. I know it says April because April, so you know, I'm sure you all know, was the first full month of no school. And when we end a month and start a new month, that always is the challenge for some of the students, figuring out where do these numbers go? What do we change? So. First, let's start with the months of the year. We talk about this. The first of the month, first month of the year is January, February, March, April. The month we're in now is oops, May. We're going to change it. June. We'll be done with school June 24th, July, August, September, October, November. December. And sometimes we work on our speech and articulation skills because sometimes it's really hard for some kids to say these longer months like January. Sometimes we do phonemic awareness skills. Anyway, back to the calendar. So those are the count, those are the months of the year, days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We talk about what days are the weekends, Sunday and Monday. What day is the first day of the week? A lot of kids think it's Monday. It's really Sunday. So we're gonna change the calendar. The month is April, it's all done. The next month, the current month that comes after April is May. That's where we are now. We talk about the season, it's still spring. We talk about when the solstices are, the spring, the summer. We help decide when we're changing it from spring to summer. And we talk about the year. Make sure the kids know the year is 2020. So it's the calendar isn't right. At the end of a month, this month, had we been in school, would have been a Friday, would have been a Thursday. So we had today, we had yesterday, and we had tomorrow. So we need to change all the days because the first is not going to stay there on down the bottom. So we now know the first is, was Friday. May 1st was Friday. And I usually have all the kids try to figure out when is May 1st. So we're gonna change it. We're gonna put one here. We're gonna put, we put two here. And I actually have the kids do all this because I want them to work together and figure out what the days of the week are and why the numbers change. It's a very challenging concept to understand um, how you move the number one from here to up here and to figure it all out. So if you do a calendar with your kids, please help them understand all that. I'm going to stop for a minute and go back here and put in yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, May 5th. 